Hi everyone, so today we're gonna to be making symmetrical hearts using a pink, pink folded paper. We're gonna be using our acrylic paints today. But first thing what I'd like you to do is you'll have a piece of paper that's folded like a big giant birthday card. On the cover of your card, I'd like you to write your name with pencil, and then you're gonna open it up. You will see where the card is already folded. This line right here is gonna be called your line of symmetry. You are only allowed to paint on the right side. Do not paint on the left side. And you'll see what I mean by this in a second. So for this project, we're gonna be using our temper paints. And these are the paints that don't really like water. There's already water in them, but we don't wanna add more. For the inside of the heart, what we wanna do is we wanna paint on the one side and then fold our card so that it prints and shows up on the second side. So what we wanna think about is right side only. So we're gonna start with our warm colors only. So for my outline, I'm gonna start with my red. So using your brush, you're gonna just gently tap into your paint. You need just enough on the tips. Try not to scoop your paint out because then you'll have too much. So we're gonna start with the one side of our heart and we have to do the top kind of curve of our heart. So I'm gonna go about a finger's length down and right on my line of symmetry, I'm just gonna do a curved line. And my curved line stretches to the top of my paper and I'll kind of make my way about halfway down my page. So a curve like the top of the heart. Put your brush down and you're gonna close your birthday card. Press with your hands, smear it really good, and then open it back up. And what you will see is what was on this side will copy over to this side. Notice how I didn't paint this side. You can also see where I didn't press hard enough in the middle. So what you can do is just close up your card and repress it, just like that. Grab your paintbrush, a little more red, and you're gonna do a straight line down to the bottom of your page, down to the bottom corner, just like that. Notice how I didn't go over my line of symmetry. Paint brush down, fold and smear, and watch it transfer. I did not paint this side. I didn't press hard enough, so I'm gonna repress down there, and I'm gonna open it back up. Now I'm gonna switch colors. Since we're using warm colors for the inside of our heart, I need to clean off my brush. The way you clean off your brush is you put it in the water cup and you're gonna paint the bottom of the cup. I like to do swirls and pretend I'm painting the bottom. After my swirl, I'm gonna swoosh it on the side. Don't tap your brush, swoosh it. So swirl, swoosh, swirl, swoosh. Because my paintbrush is still a little wet, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap it on my paper towel, and then I'm gonna pick up my next color. For my next color, I'm gonna do orange. And remember, we're only painting on the right side, so I'm gonna do little dashes. Just little itty bitty lines with my orange. Notice how I'm not painting on the left side. I'm gonna put my brush down and do my squishing. And voila, what this is doing is it's creating symmetry. And what symmetry is, is when your right side also matches your left side. Take your brush, clean it out. Next color is yellow. Clean out your brush. Next color is pink. You can see too, with each color, I'm changing the size of the paint stroke that I'm doing. So I'm gonna do my pink really little. Next color I'm gonna use is gold. You can see too how I'm overlapping my colors. I'm putting colors on top of other colors. And I also have not painted on the left side. Last color we're gonna use is, I'm just gonna use red one more time. Perfect, I'm gonna do one last fix. I noticed that on this side of the outside of my heart, it's really light, but instead of painting on this side, I'm gonna repaint the red over here 
and then re-smush it. So I'm gonna put the red here and then re-smush. If you don't have this problem or you like how it looks, you don't have to do this step, but if you think it's too light, you're more than welcome to redo that line. So I'm gonna smush one last time. Perfect, I love how that looks. For around the heart and the extra space, I'm gonna use my cool colors. My cool colors are my blues and my greens and purple. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'll let this part fast forward so you can see the cool colors. Perfect, and my heart is done. Since I have a pretty messy heart, I'm gonna go put this into the drying rack. Make sure your paintbrush gets cleaned out really good. Put your cap back on your paints. And if you have any mess on your table, make sure you clean it up with the cleaning sponge. All right, now that my heart is completely dry, we're gonna add some details using our oil pastels. So first thing I want you to do is find your black oil pastel, and you're just gonna trace your outside of your heart. So where you did that original red line. You don't have to do a perfect line, and I'm kind of doing this a little bit messy because we're gonna end up smudging it anyway. So take black, trace your heart, and really get a lot of that black pastel right on that heart. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your finger and you're gonna smudge your black into the middle of your heart. So all you do is take your finger and you're gonna pull that black pastel into the middle of the heart. And your fingers will get a little bit messy, which is okay. So I'll let this part fast forward while I do the whole entire heart so you can see what it looks like. If you need a little bit more of the black, don't be afraid to put a little bit more on. Now you will have a messy finger, so be careful with your fingers. If I were to touch right here, the black would smudge into the wrong spots. So once you've done all of your black, then what I'd like you to do is take your white. We're gonna create a highlight with our white, and you get to decide where your highlight goes. So I'm gonna put a few little lines on the inside of my heart, and I'm gonna make them almost look like rectangles. Once you have your highlights in, pick a different finger or maybe use a different hand and you can smudge those white marks in. When you're all done, the black and the white highlights are gonna make it look like it's 3D. Make sure you wash your hands and then hand in your heart.